Today, we are diving into one of the most fascinating and groundbreaking topics in the world of artificial general intelligence. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel CoTech with RP. We're going to explore what AGI is, how it differs from the AI we interact with today, and the journey towards achieving it. So, let's get started. First, let's break down the difference between narrow AI and AGI. Narrow AI, or ANI, refers to systems designed to perform specific tasks, like voice assistance, recommendation algorithms, and game-playing AIs. These systems excel at their designated tasks, but lack the ability to perform beyond their programming. AGI, on the other hand, is about creating machines with general intelligence comparable to human beings. An AGI could understand, learn, and apply knowledge across a wide range of tasks, adapting to new situations just like a human. Imagine an AI that can not only play chess but also write a novel, diagnose diseases, and have meaningful conversations. That's the promise of AGI. What happens when machines surpass human intelligence? How do we ensure AGI benefits humanity without causing harm? These are critical questions that experts like Nick Bostrom and Stuart Russell are exploring. Ensuring AI safety and establishing ethical guidelines are crucial as we move forward. Let's take a look at some current advancements. OpenAI's GPT series, including the model I'm using right now, has shown remarkable progress in understanding and generating natural language. DeepMind's AlphaFold has revolutionized our understanding of protein folding, which has significant implications for biology and medicine. These achievements suggest that we are moving closer to AGI, but we still have a long way to go. The journey involves integrating these specialized systems into a unified entity capable of general intelligence. So, what are your thoughts on AGI? Do you think it's something we should pursue? Or are the risks too great? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tech and coding content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.